all over the earth. Amen. I'm glad we serve a good God. Yes, sir. Is that all right? I stopped by to tell somebody this morning, keep your head up. God gives the hardest battle. Amen. To the strongest soldiers. Hello, y'all. Y'all would get that. I said he gives the hardest battle to the strongest soldier. God can restore what is broken. He can change it into something amazing. All you need is the same thing that Abraham had this morning. And all Abraham had was faith in God. Am I right about it? Somebody said, well, how could Abraham, how could Abraham leave his kindred? How could Abraham leave his family? How could Abraham go somewhere where he didn't even know where he was going? It was by faith. And Abraham understood that God cannot lie. All right. Did Abraham get weak? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever got weak? Hello, y'all. Yes, he got weak. Yes, the humanity in Abraham came out. But his faithfulness for God stood the test of time. Hello, y'all. That's why he became the father of many nations. Because he trusted, I said he trusted, in God. Turning your mess into a message. Amen. Some of us used to be in a mess. Yes. Amen. Yes. But I'm like Paul, it's by the grace of God. Yes. Then now our mess yes. can be a message. Yes. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. It's sad to say that there's still a lot of Christian folk in a mess. Yes. Amen. Yes. It, 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 it's a lot of folk still in a mess. Yes. But God is able to bring you out of your mess. Is that all right? Amen. amen, amen, amen. Let me help somebody quickly. If you're in a financial mess, God the right one. I said God the right one to bring you out of a financial mess. And then, and then he can take that mess and turn it into a message. Amen. Well, I wish I, I, I could get a little bit deeper, but I, but I can't. But I, I, I was called for some advice yesterday. Uh -huh. A family, a preacher, have got into a, a financial mess. Uh -huh. Yes. And somebody's helping him to get out of that mess. Amen. Sometimes you just need somebody to give you a little guidance. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And one day, Brother Larry, I pray that when he come out of that mess, he can turn that mess into a message. You can tell somebody, you can't bite off more than you can chew. Amen. You can sign a lot of notes, but if you can't make the note, it don't do I wish I had somebody in there. It ain't going to do you no good. They'll sell you what you want. But the fact is, can you pay for what you want? Is that all right? Everybody want a new house. Everybody want a new car. But everybody ain't able. Sometimes you got to work up. But when God brings you out of that mess, don't act like you ain't never been there. You help somebody not to even get in the mess. And, and I understand that, that sometimes we hard here. Sometimes we ain't gonna do right until we get in the mess. Right. But when you get out of the mess, let that mess be your message. Right. Amen. Amen. Some of us in a messy relationship. Yes, sir. Hello, y'all. I said some of us got some messy relationships. Yes, but if God will help you and He can help you work out of that messy relationship, you ought to share it with somebody. Yes. God was saying that. Man, you ought to see the relationship I was in. Yes, sir. And now God has turned it around. You got to know it's going to be through God. Yes, I said it from the beginning. God can take a test and make it into a testimony. Yes, sir. Is that right? Uh -huh. and, and, and he can take a trial. Yeah. Hello, God. God is good, John. Yeah. 
Ain't a lot of folk coming out of things on their own. Yeah. Hello, y'all. You know what happens when you keep digging on your own? You just keep getting deeper. Yeah. But when you allow God to help you, he'll bring you up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Don't let it be no secret. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we so secret about it. Yeah. Amen. Something need to be shared. Yeah. Something need to be told. Yeah. Hello, y'all. Yeah. Why? There's a whole lot of things as a preacher I would have been done fell in, except I had some older preachers to tell me about their experience. All right. And I was just, just, just smart enough not to get in. I've been in some of them. I was smart enough not to get in all of that stuff. Uh -huh. Hell, I'm going to quit I'm just trying to tell you. Yes, Turning your mess yes, into a message. Yes, and everybody... Everybody in here got a testimony. Yeah. Everybody in here got a mess. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but what really counts is when you take that mess and make it your message. Ain't it good to know when, when folk that used to look at you like you wasn't going to never be nothing? Anybody ever had run across somebody that, that thought you wasn't going to never be nothing? In high school, you know what I was? I was the most likely not to succeed. Some of them got it right because I ain't never done nothing. But my point is, you can take what they thought was a mess and turn it into and turn it into a mess. Amen. Amen. All you got to do is 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 is, is knock the naysayers down. Well, well, I know him when he was doing it. I know he wasn't gonna never be like that. But now, when you walk up right, now when you look like you got some sense, hello, y'all. When you look like you're trying to be about something, all they can say is, "I'm just waiting here." You think that's what waiting on you to fall, man? But you keep on walking straight, and all they can do is be it all in what God can do. And when it's your time to give your testimony, don't ever say what I did. Yeah, man. Don't ever say what took me this and I, I had to do that and I had to do this. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. I took his grace and I did not labor with it in vain. And now it is by his grace that I can tell other folk about Jesus. Is that all right? I, I, I said, now it's by his grace. Yes, sir. Yes. <clears throat> and so this morning, if you're ready to turn your mess yes. into a message, yes, sir. if you're not, have obeyed the Lord Jesus, you, 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 you get into this body, mm -hmm. this church that Jesus gave his life for. Yes. The church that Paul persecuted, but then the church that he established all over Asia Minor, all over the continent. This church that Paul sent preachers in, that Paul ordained and set in line for men to become elders in, this same church. You become a member by the hearing of the word, believing in the same repenting of the sin. Confess Jesus to be the Son of God and be buried in the water of grave of baptism for the remissions of sin. If you have obeyed uh, uh, and, and you need to get out of that mess, yeah. can't nobody get you out of the mess. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had some more time. Oh, I'm going to keep to my promise today. If you ever need to get out of some mess, yeah. let, me, let, me, let me tell you who to call. Y'all ready? Write this down. Call King Jesus. Is that all right? Yeah. If, 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 if you ever get in a mess that you can't get out of, amen. And I ain't talking about no foolishness. Yeah. Hey, 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 amen. You, you, you still need Jesus for that, but you need some help too. Right. Uh, but rely on Jesus. Yeah. Whatever you do. Uh, like the psalmist said in the 121st Psalm, lift your eyes unto the hills for which come. Your help. If there was one that need prayer this morning, we're going to pray for you as well. Uh, because sometimes prayer uh, is an uplifting thing. Uh, sometimes just, just a prayer yeah. goes a long way. Anybody ever prayed for you yeah. and you felt better? Yeah. 
after they prayed for you. Amen. Every now and then, when you feel good, you don't even know somebody could be praying for you. And you don't even know it. And the Lord touching, touching you through their prayer. And you wondering why things are going, going pretty good. Because somebody, somebody praying for you. You don't even know it. But God is answering the prayer. So this morning, if there's anyone who needs to go down into the watery grave of baptism, the water's ready. I've been saying that for a long time. The water's ready. Somebody needs to get in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't you having that water back there? Ain't nobody gonna get in it. Right. Amen, amen, amen. I might have to get in it again. Somebody gotta get in the water. Amen, amen. The water's ready. The clothes ready. We're ready. God's ready. Yes, sir. Amen. We just ready for you. If you will, again, have to obey you straight away, come on back and get right with God. Yeah. Come on and be a message, a message that all of us need to see, a message that all of us need to hear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be that message of God. And then there may be one who stands in the need of prayer. Brother Jordan, as he comes forward with our invitation song, let us all stand as we sing the song of invitation. Well, yeah, not to